We've got, you know, multi-source layouts. We've got a dynamic motion background. We've got switching. We've got graphic overlays. And all of this is a lot easier to do than you think. And the reason it's easier to do is because of great products like Epifan Pearl. And everything you can do today can be done on a Pearl 2. We also have a Pearl Mini. There's a lot of ways that you can accomplish this, but we're gonna make it as easy as possible for you by giving you some presets that you can get started with and, and get up and running right away. We've broken it down to four easy steps. So step one, I'm gonna show you how to load a configuration preset. Step two is connect your Uno overlay graphics with your Pearl, you can pair it up to be able to do really nice graphics. And then I'm gonna show you how to start your stream and record and to be able to switch a program. Let's get started. And I wanna show you how we run a production like this on a Pearl 2. And here you see we have Epifan Cloud. Epifan Cloud is kind of like your central hub and your dashboard where you can find all of your Pearl devices. So I've got a Pearl Mini, I've got a Pearl Nano, but I'm actually gonna build a production here in real time on this Pearl 2. And right off the bat, I've got a little bit of information here, but the tab we're gonna use today is right over here on the right, presets. So let's, let's get started with step one here, which is to load your configuration preset. And Epifan is making this easy for you. We have some configuration presets on our website that you're gonna be able to download and you're gonna be able to get started with right away if you already have a Pearl. So let's go ahead and add a new preset. And you'll see here, I have my Pearl 2 easy mode preset. Let's open that up. It's gonna load right into my cloud account. And now in fact, anyone who is a team member on my cloud account will have access to this preset as well. So very easy to share your presets, which is great. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the preset. Okay, and there we go. So let's just check, make sure our inputs are working. You can see I've got uh, Sophia here on my HDMI A input and I've got Jessica, she's on my HDMI B input. And now we're ready to move on to step two, which is to pair my Uno graphics with my Pearl. So this is the only step where I'll actually have to go into the back end, the admin panel of Pearl. So I'm gonna click right here to log into the admin. You're just gonna go down here and you're gonna see graphics and this is your graphics input. And you'll see that there's a field here on your Pearl that says web URL. And this is where we're going to direct Pearl to look for our graphics input. So I'm gonna fl flip over my tab actually to my Uno overlays. So here we are now in Uno and I've already set this up in advance. All I had to do was go to overlays.uno in my web browser. I search for the Epifan Stream Pack and I can start using it right away. The best part is all the graphics are designed to pair with the layouts in my Pearl preset. All I have to do is at the top right here, I can grab and copy this output URL for my graphics. So you see here, you know, I can run all of my graphics here in Uno, but right now I'm just gonna copy the output, come back over to my Pearl, drop it in and hit apply. And now you'll see it's gonna connect and I can see that my graphics are now connected to my production. So let's flip back over here and you'll see I get a preview right away. My production is running, I can see my graphics. So we're, uh, we're most of the way there already. Step three is to actually start our stream and start our recordings. So if I just go back here to look at my channel, I can see my program channel and I can select a streaming destination. And I'm gonna stream to my YouTube channel, which I've already configured here in Epifan Cloud. So let's start that stream. And I'm gonna to wanna to record this as well. So let's start that recording. Okay, so we're streaming and recording, which means step three is complete. Let's move on to step four, which is to uh, actually switch our program. And you'll see right here, I've got a switcher. Let's open that up. Now, what's really cool here is with our configuration preset, we've already given you a whole bunch of layout templates that you can use. So you've got, you know, we see this nice two up that we have right now. We can switch to any singles we might want to. 
We've got some different kind of side by side. So maybe if you want to do a screen share or share some content alongside your presenters. And this is all designed to work really nicely with the Uno graphics. So I'm just going to flip back to Uno. Maybe we want to throw on um, a title at the top of our program. We've got our podcast title. And here in Perl, you'll see it's in there right away. So what's cool here is, you know, you can run this just all in a browser, queue your graphics, queue your switches. Um, if you want to do this all yourself, one man band, you can do that. If you want to have someone operating the switcher and another person, maybe in a different location, operating the Uno graphics, it's possible to do that as well. And uh, we make it super easy to combine those elements and integrate your graphics, your media playback, all of that. 